What up folks, Alex here and welcome to 5 Minute Friday. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this super easy, super quick bloom style transition effect like this. Now we're gonna do this using Fusion. You could realistically do this using a color tab as well. But we're gonna stick with Fusion because it's dead easy to do and there's loads of possibilities to use it elsewhere in other projects as well. Now this is actually a request. Someone asked me the other day if I could show them how to make a bloom transition. So if you do have any requests, pop them down below. I do try and read all the comments and I'll see what I can do. So let's open Resolve and we'll have a look. So here we are in Resolve, we're on the Edit tab and we're just gonna create this real simple, quick, easy bloom transition effect. Now like all of my transitions, we're gonna use an adjustment clip. So first up, open up the effects library, head into the toolbox, go to effects, and grab an adjustment clip and put it on your timeline. Now, if you've watched any of my videos, you'll know there is a bit of a bug with adjustment clips. So what you need to do is to make sure it's the length that you want it. About a second works well, but you'll feel free to adjust that as you need to. Then grab the adjustment clip, copy it into your media pool, delete it from your timeline, and then just add it back onto your media pool to get rid of the little bug that occurs. Once you've done, put it in the center of your two clips like so, and then we can head into Fusion. Once you're in Fusion, select Clips and make sure that you have your adjustment clip selected, and then you can just close that down. And you should see your nodes here. You just need to click on nodes if you can't. And we've got our media in and our media out. Now this is really simple to do. All we're gonna do is from this little toolbar across the middle here, you're gonna grab this one, which is your brightness and contrast, and just gonna drop it onto this line between your media in and your media out. Then open up the inspector in the top right hand corner, like so, and then you've got all these different settings which you can change. So you can do your gain, you can do lift, you can do gamma, you can do all that sort of thing. So all we're gonna do for this bloom transition is to increase the gain from one, all the way up to five, and then back again for the transition. And we'll do it using some real basic keyframes. So these are your keyframes down the right hand side here. Underneath your preview window, you've got this sort of mini timeline. These are all your keyframes. Just grab your little red marker, go right to the far left, and then add a keyframe on gain. So it turns red. Drag your little red marker to the middle. So I'm shooting at 24 frames per second. So I go to 12, add a keyframe, drag it to the far right, and then add another keyframe. And then in the middle one here, just change this all the way to five. So we've got one, five, and then one again. So we can just flick through them using these little icons here. If we just jump back to edit, we can play that, see how it looks. And even as it is, it's quite a nice, simple bloom style transition. If we head back to Fusion, click on Spline in the top right hand corner, and then tick these boxes so that you can see your brightness and contrast gain, and you should see this line here. This represents the keyframes. These are the three keyframes that we've added and we can just smooth them out. So we can either click on them individually or we can just click our mouse, hold and drag to select all of them. And then we can either click this icon here or just hit S on your keyboard to smooth those out. Just gonna drag this line in just a tiny bit. And what that basically means is it smooths the transition. So rather than just jumping straight away from one to five to one, it slowly increases and then decreases again. So it's just a little bit smoother. And then if we hit play, it looks something like that. Now that's purely just doing gain. So it's basically overexposing it and then coming back in. If you wanna add some color, again from this little toolbar here, select this icon here, which is a color corrector and just add that onto this line after the brightness and contrast. Give that a click and then if we just drag this around you can see you can actually change the color so if we wanted to do an almost sort of rgb style bloom effect we just repeat the same process but this time changing the color so we're going to put our red marker at the very beginning i'm going to add a keyframe on this color picker here we're going to go right to the middle keyframe that right to the end and keyframe that and we'll go back to the middle one and pick the color we want. So I'm gonna go with a green, like so. Now if we hit play, it doesn't just bloom, it also has a greenish tint to it 
while it's doing it as well. So head back to the edit tab, you can give the adjustment clip a click, open up the inspector, give it a name, green bloom. You can then copy that into your media pool or into a power bin so it's there ready to use in any other project in the future. You can just grab it from there, add it to your timeline, you've got a green balloon transition effect. And that's it, easy as that. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, thumbs up, any comments or feedback down below. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new around here. And also check out my playlist. I've got a bunch of DaVinci Resolve playlists which you may like to take a look at. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.